Hi, I'm Trevi. And I'm Kate. And welcome back to our podcast called Six Feet Above. And today, join <laughs> today we have joining us an icon, a legend, Miss Mother. Tara Yummy. Woo! Hi. Yes. If you are watching this on YouTube and you're falling asleep or you're driving and want to listen to the audio only version, head on over to Spotify or Apple with the links in my bio. You literally drove an hour to get here. It's because it's so raining real. and there was traffic. Right. Why is it raining so much? I don't know. I fucking hate it though. Is it making you depressed because it's making me depressed? I can't deal with rain. Mm -hmm. It ruins my hair. It ruins everything. I, mean, I hate it. Why I like literally, I left New York. I was like, I'm done. I need to come back to LA. It, it rains so much here. It, it really normally doesn't. It's giving climate change. Um, thank you so much for coming. Oh, of Seriously. course. Are you kidding me? Like we're literally gagged. Um, galore. How was your day? Yeah. How the tell us your about day? your day? I was telling her I did nothing today for the first time in two weeks. Mm. Okay. I did nothing. All I did was I took pictures for my friend. Hot. Okay. And then I dropped some ice off at my grandparents' house ice. because their ice machine's broken. Okay, she's a wow. wholesome girl. Yeah. Where are your Where are your grandparents at? Uh, they live across the street from me. No. Cute. Yeah, I love it. Wait, it's giving family street. Mm -hmm. How was your weekend? How was my weekend? Did you what go to question? Barney's? <laughs> For once, no. Okay. No. Okay, For once, yeah, I, I always see you there. I, I went to a couple parties. So, I'm glad I went out this weekend. I felt are? like I needed it. Do you go out like, uh, like, how often do you go out, would you say? A couple times a week. Okay. I don't think I go out as much as most people because mm -hmm. I like, I'm obsessed with my job. But right. Okay. So uh, what I was saying is like you had. I, I remember what I was gonna say. You were like constantly working and like grinding and like I see you with new creators every day and like <laughs> expanding your brand. Like it's so cool to watch. Like you take advantage of like the current situation and like mm -hmm. not like lean back and like watch it. You like you lean into it. Yeah. And that's something that I've seen a lot of creators make the mistake of of like. Once their shit starts to blow up, they like think that it's all fucking done now. And no, like, I would so never think that way. I mm -hmm. feel like I've waited so long for this and I've worked for like four years. So I'm like, right. if people want to work with me, why wouldn't I want to work well, with them? I mean, it's, four, no. I, it's been four years. Almost five. It'll be five March 10th that I've been trying this. Wow. What, just YouTube in general? Yeah, and, YouTube. And, I post okay. every Monday. <laughs> work. <laughs> How do you think of the ideas? I don't know. It just, just come to, to me. Some it's weeks I'm like, I have nothing. And then I just, I literally just, I brainstorm. Well, I watched your last video, the one where you were like, I don't know what the fuck to film. And then you just like stayed in and like got Chick-fil-A. It was, but are you like, yeah. you make it so entertaining. Yeah. Thank you so I much. I love it so That's much. That's so nice. Yeah. Fucking five years, dude. Is yeah. It, does it feel like it's been five years? Or? No, it feels like it's been like two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, COVID definitely. Was yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like, I feel like we're all technically two years younger than we are. We are. Three. Like, three. I'm 22. So I'm 20. Yeah. yeah and I'm 22. Are. Yep. <laughs> I feel like mm -hmm. two. I feel like I feel 21. Okay. Not 23. Mm -hmm. I do feel like we just literally like wasted away our lives for two years. It was a vortex. I, I was feel hard. 90. You feel 90? <laughs> yes. I feel 90. Yeah. Like from 90. COVID. Not I kidding. Like, yeah. Did you ever get it? I got it one time and it was like when no one was getting it anymore. Oh, oh nice. I never got it. I don't want it. I'm sorry. No, I'm crazy. It's so I never bad. got it. Really? Yeah. And I'm like, I I'm a hypochondriac. So am I. And I'm like, what's and testing myself every week when I like had a sniffle and I have asthma too so Me it was too. Like, yeah mm -hmm. so I was like yeah. really really scared I was like super super cautious I just think like it was so weird like that time of our lives was so um there was a lot of panic oh, and it was, I was panicking yeah. yeah but it was just, I sat my ass at home mm -hmm. yeah the whole but time. I don't even, isn't it like just like it like keeps coming back and then just like everyone's literally panicking. yeah like, it makes me feel like it, what it the feels like a normal yeah. cold now but it's because it's because no. everyone like it like um it diluted right yeah 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 like people so don't get it as bad anymore because of like i just don't fuck it out. was so weird losing your smell i never lost my i never smell. i oh never experienced gosh. i was like that. i, I just felt like i smell bad now okay so like <laughs> videos youtube and content creation um is obviously a huge passion for you um uh, what helped you find that like what made you want to start doing that Literally growing up, I was like seven years old, eight years old, nine years old, watching YouTubers. Okay. I've been watching YouTubers since I was literally a fetus, like a Same. baby, going to your meetups. Literally going Bitch. to like meetups, like being this obsessed YouTuber. I never could like afford VidCon growing up. So I'd like just like watch people vlogging at VidCon. Like, Wasn't Aww. that the worst? It was just the worst. Like I felt so left out. Bed. I felt so left out. Um, the first VidCon I actually ever went to, I was like at because I did YouTube, which was cool. Oh, what? which one was that? 2019. Okay. It was like the last I good think one. I was there. It was like the last good one. Was there like a turning point where you realized you're like, oh shit, like I can make a career off this? And when was like when was that? Um, 
It happened pretty quickly because I was like, I was seeing people watch me. It wasn't that many people, right. but it was enough to make a living off of it. So right. it happened pretty quickly, which I was really grateful for because and I think the only reason it happened is because I was dating my ex-boyfriend at the time right. and I saw him making a career off of it and he convinced me I could. So yeah. I had like a lot of self-confidence in the beginning because of him. So I, I think immediately I thought I could make a career off of this. Yeah. I, I mean, I thought I could make a career off of it since I was like seven years old. I was like, okay, Same here. I could do this. If you really, it shows that like, it, it is personality, but it's also, you know, a huge part of it is skill. You can have a, I've, I've met plenty of YouTubers with shitty personalities, but they're, Me too. But they're, <laughs> they're great at their, Me at their too. Craft. Me too. Has yeah. that happened a lot where you like meet an idol and they're just so nasty? She's like, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> She's like, yeah right not an idol. I feel like I have met YouTubers though and I'm like, Oh my God, you're so rude. I, it's yeah. crazy how different they are. I, I know. And I, know I, I try my it. best to be the same exact person I am online in my videos yeah. and in person. I really yeah. do. I try to be as genuine as I can because like it shows. I think people can see it and smell it out. Oh yeah. Can see you know, like I mean, just like even supporters, like they could like fucking see it. So I try my best. One of the people that I think is exactly the same in real life as they are um, on the internet as well as Trisha. Oh yeah. She is the same exact person. Yeah. You went on her pod right? i'm going on her podcast on thursday okay i watched excited. jake and johnny do theirs okay yeah are you excited i'm so excited oh my god i think she's really good at interviewing people too she mm -hmm. really is yeah i'm like obsessed with this new wholesome era of her me too and Love it's her. just like it shows that a human can really sorry if they put in like the work like they can just like change and grow and expand for the better I think yeah it's great i love people with a dark past <laughs> i do too because we all have it and i feel like once you like start gaining more following at a platform i feel like a lot of people like use it against you i know it's it's hard to like look back at like a lot of the old videos from like you know eight nine years ago and like see that like that was a lot of people's first impression of me because like mm -hmm. i wish everyone's first impression of me was that now right but it's like you know, you can't really yeah. do much about that. Give yourself credit. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, my God. Therapy with Tara. Yes. I'm a good, listen, I'm a good person. I, know I, <laughs> I like to are. think I'm nice. I can I think you that. are. <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay, so, like, you recently, like, blew the fuck up. I'm I, confused. I, I'm just as confused as you are. If you're going to say how, if you're going to ask me how it happened, I couldn't tell you. No, I'm not confused because I know oh, yeah, you worked no, hard in it. It's, uh, there's this one YouTuber, I think it's, do you watch, um... Nikki and Coco Moco, they do like a lot of like music type no. of podcasts. They talk about artists and creators and they have this phrase that says, it takes 10 years to be an overnight success. Yeah. Wow. Um, oh, I have chills. Yeah. So it's like artists like Victoria Monet, who just won Best New Artist. Mm -hmm. She's, been She's been doing writing it, it for yeah. there you 10, go. 11 years. And then same right. with Ray with Escapism. Oof, stop. I have chills. Um, <laughs> that makes me feel better for the amount of time. I but it's before. like you yeah. put in that time. I mean, obviously not 10 Thank years you. is a, is a Expression. It's a stretch, yeah. Um, the five. Five is half. Five is half. Five plus five is ten. But um, I think it just really shows that if you commit and you are consistent, something just randomly, totally. if, whether it's fucking algorithmically, whether yeah. it's just a word of mouth, whatever it may be. And I think the reason why a lot of girls and, you know, obviously guys too, but like your audience is majority young girls, girls right? Yeah. yeah. Like 18 Love. to 24. Yeah. That means you're doing something right. Yeah. For sure. Girls, girl. I think the reason why it's connecting so much and we got so many messages sent in about this is like you exude this confidence that is is like attainable. And yeah, I, I feel like you give this vibe that like, look me, like I if I can, can do this, you can do this too. And it, and it inspires a lot of young girls maybe who aren't so confident. Mm -hmm. And um we got so many, so many questions about like your confidence and how do you say That's stay... crazy. We did, we did. Uh, like, how do you, like, what do, <laughs> do, you, do you say, like, I wouldn't, I don't want this to sound weird, but like, do you say that you're like just doing it for the camera or do you genuinely feel like this is like. I just think it's who I, I don't know, I think it's who I am. Have yeah. you always been confident? I think so. That's I think good. after high school, especially. Yeah, did you have an awkward phase? No. Oh I wonder what it's like. That's crazy. That <laughs> I, was nice. And you never had an awkward phase. I had a lot of acne in high school and I went on Accutane. Okay. That might have done something for me for that my personality. Been it. Yeah. Right. Because like I wasn't shallow. We all got And I had it. to like make up for like all the pimples on my face. Mm -hmm. Right. But I don't think I had an awkward phase that much. I think I don't know. I really don't know what it is. I think being an only child made me really You're an only social. Child. Yeah, it made me really okay. social and I had a lot of friends growing up. 
just like that's I had good. a lot of friends and yeah, I just that's good always I've always been the same person you can like ask like my friends from high school they're like one thing about Tara she never f-ing changed and it's like whether yeah. that's good or bad like I think that that's good and I think it's refreshing because you hear so many stories of people with these like you know this past of like you know I used to never be confident and it took this yeah. one event no. that like switched me or like this happened and I think it's just like I think I've always been this way it's like kind of cool yeah. for you to sit here and be like well, I don't feel bad that I've always been this way. This is who I am. and Yeah, but I think anyone can be this way. 1,000%. 100%, yeah. I mean, I, I wasn't um, always confident at all. No, we both went through self-hatred. We yeah. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> what, us? <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. Uh-uh. But you and Megan the Stallion are the only people I've ever heard be like, I've always been confident. I've always loved myself. I think I've always loved and myself. I love it. Do you have a good relationship with your mom? Yeah, I do. That helps. Yeah, I love her. I don't know her, but I love her. (laughs) My mom? Yeah. I'm sure she'd love you too. I love that. Actually, she did see that picture of me and you at Barney's and she's like, oh, she's so pretty. Really? Yeah. Oh Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yeah, she thought you were like really pretty. She's like, who's this? Queen. Yeah. Remember when I was like, yeah, you can't post until I face tune it? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And she goes, she looks at the thing on the digital. She goes, what do I need to change? I go, you know what? No, just send me the fuck. Get in the lab. Yeah, I blew that. Shit. Oh, I didn't hey. see the difference. I thought you looked beautiful no matter what. No, I just like Aww. darkened the. Thank you. I darkened the uh, the eye makeup because. Oh, know. that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love then, when you, you know, do that. To reconstructed my whole entire body. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wait, since you are so confident, when you do get hate comments, do you brush it off or? It depends on what. I think it it doesn't make me mad. People are like, "Oh, she's such a pick me." I'm like, "Why?" Because I'm short, and I say I'm short. I am short. That's honestly I'm, a great hate comment to get I know I'm like if the worst thing you can say is that pick me choose me I'm like go for it I don't give a well yeah because I know because I know it's not true if someone says something that's true about me like some people are like oh she's annoying I'm like "Ah, I could be a little annoying so that like Mm. does upset me but like I'm like so if you want to get to me call me annoying yeah Yeah. do you take everything as like um what is it called grain of salt no (laughs) (laughs) Uh, oh constructive criticism (laughs) do you Um, always try to view it in that way no I don't really care to change myself yeah so it's like I'm not gonna take the criticism I love that I'll work on myself but I I like the way I am you'll expand who you are you're not gonna swap something Mm -hmm. out I mean honestly I think being annoying is kind of the best thing ever where I think we're all I think you have to be a little annoying to be on the internet totally yeah that's what I think yeah yeah Yeah. I don't hate comments like some of them bother me Right. Especially if I, it's something that's like kind of true, I'll be like, oof. Right. That kind of. I'm like, why'd you have to go there? Yeah. Like, I don't even know you. And yeah. You're coming for my but life. But if it's something like, oh, I, this one's my favorite one, the pick me. It's like, oh, she's she says she's so small. I'm like, well, I am. It's like no, alarmingly small. small. It's right. like people will meet me and they're like, oh my god, you're smaller than I thought you were. And I'm like, well, I can't. I truly can't help it. I wish I was tall. Uh, me and you next to each other, standing up. When you I'm always here. say that. I know. Well, I wish I was in your position. I wish I was tall. I wish like because I wanted to be a model. I could give you some. <laughs> And, like, and we could like, just be a little leveled out. Yeah. But that's why you're not a pick me because a lot of short girls to tall girls like masculinize us and they're like, oh my God, you make me feel so small. But like, you're no, like, no I I'm wish just, I was tall. You're like, I'm literally just short. I, like, I, that's just I, the tea. I can't help it. I try to wear heels as much as I can. Yeah. I'm wearing platforms right now. I mean, yeah, we get that. We get a different version of that all the time. So yeah. many people come up to us and are just like, they're like, Damn. you're like my boyfriend height. What? No, wait, no, no, no. Like, Shut up. People no, no, say no. that. The, um, the things the that thing. women will say to us is actually like, bizarre. Look at how small I think, the, bizarre, I think the only thing I've told a tall woman is you're so tall. I wish I was as tall as you because I wanted to model. That's what you say to me every time. Yeah. I truly wish. That's real. Yeah. And you're just nice the only thing I think I'd miss is like being good at hide and seek. Mm, yeah, it's hard oh. for I'm like really good at hide and seek because I could fit in like hard cabinets. Pass. I want to do like a big all like have a bunch of people over and just play like hide Let's and do seek. It. Like when, whatever I'll happened win. to game nights? I'm gonna lose. You know, a lot of my friends have game nights and I don't go because I get bored. Really? I hate like board games. Oh well, that's I that's I annoying. Can't do I want to do games. like fishball charades. <gasps> yes, yeah, like like, inter- like social games. Yes, like. Yeah, that's a, every sober party we go to. We play like charades we, we, and fishable. Are you sober as well? <laughs> it's so late. Yeah, cool. We met at a sober living. I was oh, the, really? I was the manager of the sober <gasps> living. Was that's manager. amazing. It was in New York City. She cool. I came in like two months sober, like fighting for her, fighting for my life. fucking life. And, and you we know, fell in love. She, we did fall in love. She got me through it, and then I was like, "All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna come back to LA because I can't stand this. I was so depressed because the weather." I was like, "Let me follow you." Um, and then you know, she kind of that's moved amazing. Back. I didn't know. Yeah, no, oh, that's, yeah, no. that's I feel our like lore. not a lot of people know. That's cool. Our, that's our lore. That is Fun. Lore. With different shit that people say to you online, I want to like kind of transition. Have you ever had a experience with someone or a fan in real life that has like left mm. you like aghast? Yes, I could think of one off the top of my head, or maybe two. I'll, I'll say the most recent one. The most recent one that happened is like someone came up to me in public and was like, "Why aren't you getting back with your ex?" 
I'm like, what? Oh? They, they've come up to him and said that too. And I'm like, it's one thing to comment that. I get right. it. We're friends. It's weird. People think it's odd. It's polarizing. Yeah. But to come up to me in person and be like, so why aren't you getting back together with your ex? I'm like, well, because we broke s- up. <laughs> yeah, because it just wasn't I think it's. Working. I think the parasocial relationship is a little weird, mm-hmm. which yeah. um, I get. It happens. But to bring it up in person was kind of wild. I was like, oh. What did you say? I said, oh, because we broke up. And yeah. I laughed it off. But I think that was a little odd. Yeah. Other yeah. than that, I yeah. love when people come up to me. I don't mind it at all. Yeah. I once was I holding a bag know. of my own throw up and I said yes to a photo. <laughs> no fucking way. I've never said no to a photo. Where the, the wow. fuck was that? It was at a Ralph's. You had a... I had okay. a bag of my own throw up in my hand. I'm like, I hope you don't mind. Ralph's? I mean, sometimes... Just sometimes you bitch. just have to throw up in a Ralph's. Yeah. <laughs> I've always said that. I've literally New always said that. New podcast title, yeah. throwing up in a fucking <laughs> Ralph's. Do you... Because of that, do you think that if you were ever to get like in a relationship again that you'd publicize it? I don't think I'd ever publicize it in a relationship ever again. Really? Yeah, really. I also don't think I'm much of a relationship kind of person. I think the only person I was a relationship kind of person was with my ex. I don't mm-hmm. see myself being in a relationship. I'm like a very, I've always been like pretty independent. and like Yeah, a, you that confident mm-hmm. that yeah. you've always been. Yeah, and I think I truly, I, I never saw myself in a full relationship unless it was with him. So, okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't think I'd ever make it public again. Maybe I'd tease that I'm in, like, in a relationship or like I'm talking to someone, but I would never. I don't know if I want another online boyfriend. I it had seems one. like a lot. It wasn't a lot when we were dating. Well, like after it. Like now all the it is. Yeah. It. Yeah. yeah, especially because we did, decided to stay friends and we have such a good relationship that people are like, wait a second. You guys have to be like hooking up on the down low. I'm like, I swear to God, we're I, just friends. I don't understand why people are so confused by that, though. Like I think that yeah. so many people are so used to vicious, toxic breakups yeah with every single pr- especially in LA mm-hmm. and it's just like something must have happened, happened. that yeah and it's yeah. like no like no. we grew apart and like a part of a huge part of a relationship is like making sure that you get along as friends as well because like when you're yeah. in a relationship right. with someone it's like y- you are technically their be- their best fuck yeah. mm-hmm. so I think it's super cool and I think Thanks. that it's like admirable that you were you were able to do that and I don't I wish people didn't find it so confusing me too me too Um, i understand why it is because it's not likely and it's not the majority of people's relationships but i hope that us being friends isn't just like for us it's not like just beneficial for us i hope it's like beneficial for everyone else to be like wait maybe we can be friends with our exes if it wasn't like toxic and malicious and whatever it is that's inspiring thank you i want to be friends with one of my exes but i don't think it's reciprocal (laughs) (laughs) i think no i have a similar similar thing the person who i like first ever saw and like person who took my virginity is one of my best friends now and like it was a brutal separation and Mm -hmm. like that caused me to make the sinner video and i felt like i was just like i was so like i think once you get out of that like um, I don't want to say like victim mentality, but like as soon as I get out of that like poor me, it's like shit can happens. Men will be men, and like I just I chose to forgive because it like it took it took um, m- less of me to forgive than to hold on to it. That's a great mentality. Um, so it was just like yeah, no, it's just like we have a we have such a great relationship now. We make fun Good. of like we like literally joke all the time about us having sex. Like, it's, <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's all it takes is time. What's your type? I like to think I don't have a type, mm-hmm. but <sighs> the guys. So like the guys I've like gotten with, mm-hmm. I don't think I have a type. Okay, but the guys I have like long term, like whether it's a situation ship or like a relationship with, they tend to have a similar vibe. A little mm-hmm. vibe, to yeah. Them. I feel like it's like they look like they could have been in jail, but like maybe they weren't. Like Love a little bad boy vibe. But that. other than that, I don't think I have a type. I think like if you're attractive to me, you're attractive to me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on that same vibe too. But like if I had to. If like, you had to if say. If I had to like build a boyfriend. Ooh, that's, like, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. If I had to, if I had like a workshop and I was like able to choose like hair. Ooh, like, yeah. What I is mean, that? Oh my God. Yeah. Let's do this. Ugh. We all got to build I a boyfriend. I think everyone knows what I'm going to say. I I don't. Well, yeah, no, you definitely not. I want like a Middle Eastern six Me. foot. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 lo- I love y'all. Just no, big fan. You can date one of my cousins if you want. Continue. But not kidding, I will. <laughs> um, yeah, just like Middle Eastern, six really foot. nice, like over six foot, and just like some nice, like shaggy brown hair. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I'm thinking of a be- certain influencer right now. That uh, is exactly that. Who? Ooh. I'll cut it. I don't know his name. I'll show you him though. He's Persian like me. I, and he's really hot. I love my you, Persian. You gotta yeah. slide. You gotta slide in. I end up married next episode. Not kidding. No, literally. Okay, what's yours? 
Uh, fly... Oh, and, and funny and nice. Sorry, go. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> of course, <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. Of course that. Doesn't cheat. Isn't a piece of shit. Response nice. to my tags. Yeah, funny and nice. Funny is so important. Um, a, like a 5'8 Greek man. You're that... lying. No, no, no. No, I love serious. a petite man. She loves a petite man. I'm obsessed with you. Yeah. <laughs> Someone had to do it's it. Just, no, Someone had to take the petite man, and that's I've fine. I've said this before, and people get mad, but... It's rare for me to meet a tall man that can make me laugh because they don't have to try. Tall men. Don't I told have to you, try. it's like if you if you're like if you like have acne or like you know you're not yeah. shallow. You have to try a little Most bit. Most tall men like never had an awkward phase, mm. so I'm on a date with them and I ask them like, "What type of porn do you watch?" And they're aghast. And I'm like, I need you to pick it up a little bit. The yeah, five eights, have some fun. The five eights gag with me. They, they do. They in. love the would you rather's. They love the would you rather's. I throw at them. <laughs> she <laughs> throws they, the would you rather's as pickup lines. Yeah, yeah. I love that. And um. It obviously the five eight has <laughs> the five eight <laughs> the singular five eight has to like like a tall woman mm-hmm. and not be intimidated because a lot of men are like resentful of my height. I and get it. Like, it. Comes yeah. out in weird ways. I'm so. like I get it. Yeah. yeah. No, because you do. Um, five eight Greek man that makes me laugh. Word. Is that so much to ask for? You guys in the Mediterranean. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Where and maybe we because are. I'm Middle Eastern, I usually go for white boys. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I do love a classic white boy though. I hate that they're they- the. F- Oh, they're the worst. Okay. They're the I, they have a fucking grip on me like okay. no other. Live your truth. Wait, build your boyfriend. I'm just going to describe my ex and I'm going to get in. <laughs> yeah, no, you I would say to. I would just say like, you know, really funny and yes. they have to think I'm funny. Yeah. Because because people get intimidated also yeah. by like funny women. They I really think. do. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um. So they have to think I'm funny. They have to be funny. They have to be kind. Mm. And they have to have really good manners. Yes. Love a good um, manner. Me too. Please. Imagine like Thanksgiving dinner and they're just I'm like really big on manners. with their hands. I'm yeah. Like, Tony, what are you doing? Please put on a bed. Good hygiene. Yes. I um, think hygiene's the biggest part. I love tattoos and piercings. Enough. Okay. Um, Like a bad boy vibe for sure. Mm-hmm. Other than that, I don't think I'm like, I do tend to go for brunettes or dark hair, but mm-hmm. When I, I'm like thinking of a certain guy, I'm like, oh, he has light hair and yeah. he's super hot. I don't so. mind a blonde. Um, you don't mind blondes? I, no, like a blonde man. I've never gone for I a mean, blonde I'm, man. I, I can think of a guy that has like light brown blonde, dark blonde hair that I think is really hot. Mm. But what about a bleach moment? I could do a bleach moment. Really? If it's yeah. bleached, I, can, I could I do a bleach. I love like a little like spiked bleach with a little bit of root. Ooh, that's Ooh. good. Okay. And frosted Ooh. tips. Frosted tips. <laughs> I love an early 2000s hair. My God. Yes. Back streets, back All right. right. Should we go off our chest? <laughs> yes. Okay. This is the segment where we say something negative or positive about our week. And we just want to get, get it off it, our chest. Get it off our <laughs> big old <laughs> knockers. Go first because I never. Oh, I think no, you can go first. You, oh, okay. After you. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, manners. Um, okay. So, um, I was going to go like safe and boring, but I think I'm just going to actually say what's on my mind. Ooh. Wow. Oh, whoa. Get it off your chest. First of girl. all, no. <laughs> um, okay. So long story short, as you know, I went on a date with a guy. Right. And it was great. He was like funny. He was so respectful. B- such a big crush on him, which is like rare for me. Because, you know, it's hard to connect with men these days. Mm -hmm. Um, And basically, me and my roommate have this bit where we go on each other's dates and disguises and, like, take videos of each other. (laughs) (laughs) It's, like, just this, like, bit that we do and we have so much fun with it. And we obviously, like, ask the date after if we can, like, post the video of it. We're not going to, like, just post it. That's so funny. (laughs) It's a lot. Um, But usually we never disclose the date's information. But my roommate posted us on a date and like tagged him and he was in I it. I saw that. <laughs> and because they're friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he said it was okay. He was like, that's hilarious. Like, I love it. But I, she posted it and I had this like sinking feeling of doom. And I was like, okay, let's unpack this. Because like I had such a good date with him. It was so fun. And it's just like, it's funny. Like we went on like one date. Like who cares, you know? Um, I literally care. And I realized the core of my fear around it is like, I am so, the re- I never would post a man ever, any man I've ever dated. And I was always like, oh, because it's like I don't want my business out there. But I realized through some reflection that I am like so scared of a man embarrassing me. Like I am, I come from a long lineage of women that have been like clowned on by men. Really? Love them. But, um, and I've like dated men where I like find out that they're like DMing all these girls and right. they're that's like talking to themselves in the DMs. And that's embarrassing. And I'm like, and I'm dating you. So you're embarrassed. Right. I get it. Okay, thank you. Wow. Because I was going to ask if you guys relate because like this has nothing to do with him. He's like so respectful. He's so cool. I would never think he's a creep. But like, I'm just like so scared of like publicly announcing that I have a man and then like getting Them a bunch of you. DMs being like, ew, he's in my DMs Hey, girly. Yeah, hey, girly. Hey, girly is it- 
fucking oh crazy. My, and the fact that he was tagged in it, I was like, <gasps> like checking my oh. DMs. And I'm like, first of all, Kate, like, why can't you just like enjoy a good thing? And it was also like on me, like if I told my roommate, like, hey, I'm not comfortable with that, she would have totally not posted it. But I was like trying to be a cool girl and be like, I don't care, just post it, whatever. I'm not a cool girl and I'm really afraid of dating men because I'm really terrified of getting embarrassed. Work. Men are embarrassing And in I want to know if you guys agree. Yeah, I, mean, I get it. Yeah. 1,000 I've been really beating myself up about it. I'm I like, know why are you have. being so... But don't beat yourself up about it. Like, obviously men in general have given you a reason to feel like they're going to embarrass you one day. So it's not like yeah. something you did. But it's also yeah. like, the, if I do get embarrassed by a man... I shouldn't feel embarrassed by it because, like, I didn't do they it. They did it. Yeah. They did it. Don't. And I need to stop, like, putting so much pressure on, like, dating and everything. Like, hey, like, if a person shows you who they are, I'm going to believe them and I'm going to leave, you know? Yeah. And that's just my truth. So, lots to unpack. Um, I realize yeah. it's a lot of my own shit, but uh, right. that's just I know, been on I know my it's something mind. that you've been, like, going through this week. And, yeah. And, you know. I'm I'm happy you let it out here. And I love <laughs> yeah. you. I'm not hitting. I love you too. You get me. You like I do really get, you. get me what when it, it comes oh my God, to dating. You were so manic on your close friend story. She was like crying. <laughs> That's hilarious. On, like, the next slide. She I love like, that. What were you doing? <laughs> I was like singing to Megan Thee Stallion. I was like, just kidding. We're up. I was like, girl, um, I love it. But that's really you go, you're manic. I'm in love. <laughs> not kidding. It, if all else fails, I'll literally get married too. Not no, because that's probably gonna happen. Okay, so for mine. There was this guy I was talking to, uh, I would say before I moved in to my new place. And I think my life was just incredibly sporadic. And he wanted to go on a date. And like I just was moving shit from like San Diego to there. And it was a lot. So I kind of just eventually faded out mm. onto this, this, mm. this man. I'm and mad. I don't really do that. I'm pretty consistent with people that I like. Um, we met on a dating app, so it's like I don't have a picture of his face in the text combo, and I don't have his number saved. It was just a number, and then just I know where this is going. So then it was like, <laughs> it was just like, I don't really know who the is texting me anymore. It's been like a month. I'm like, you forget, you meet so many people, especially oh in my this. God, Trevi. No, 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 no. I'm not. Do, I'm not saying. This <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. I get this it. is just context. Um, and then he texts me once, like two months ago, again. I ignored. I was like, you know what? I don't really. If I, I was thinking in my head, I was like, well, if I, if I ignored him initially, I'm probably like not really into him. So I ignored him right. again. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? He finally texts me like a week ago. He's like, hey, you crossed my mind. Um, I wonder if you still. I wonder if you still want to go on that date. And I'm like thinking in my head, I'm like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> and I, I just, I made a complete lie, and I was like, hey, I got a new phone. Who, who is, is this? this? My favorite lie. Not kidding. It's still the, what, a generation ago. I still have a lightning port. Not kidding. No, literally. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, who's got a converter? Yeah. No. Um, but he, he sends me a picture, and I was taken aback, because mm. it was like, honestly. Really hot? Really, really, really my type. Like, really, really tall. The, on the white boy side. Okay, okay, okay. So I got was it. just like, oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I was like, <laughs> oh, wow. So then I wasn't like, oh my God, you're so hot. Like, I just really tried to play it cool. And I was like, oh, hey, like, nice to see you. Nice to talk to you again. And then I was starting to be consistent with him, right? And he's he sent me five texts before this that I just ignored. So it's just like, obviously, he loves to chase mm. and I start responding and you know we're having we're talking for like days at a time we finally set up a date and I'm like preparing all week because I just like I really liked him and I got my spray tan you know I got my hair done like just like things that I already was going to do but I made sure I timed it that I like was on my for the date um the well it was the afternoon of the date he texts me he goes hey I have to cancel and then in my head, I'm like, I'm like, this is just like so fucking annoying. And he was just like, yeah, I have an early, I didn't say that, but he was like, yeah, I have an early meeting tomorrow at 8 a.m. that I just found out about. I'm really, really sorry. Um, and I was like, okay, let's reschedule. And he's like, okay, let's do Saturday. And I was like, perfect. Let's do Saturday. Um, we kind of just keep talking here and there. I was kind of just like losing interest in it. And then... Saturday afternoon rolls around and the same shit happened. Another like stupid bullshit excuse. And I'm like sitting here like, so you have been like for months texting me 
trying to get with me, trying mm-hmm. to go on a date with me. But as soon as I show you any attention or affection or like show you that I'm interested in you, you disappear or cancel. So then once he once he said he canceled Saturday, I just I ignored him. From well, there. sounds like you dodged a bullet. Yeah. But why? No, it's insane. But like, yeah. who cares? Sounds like reaching you out it. first, months at a time. Literally. And that's, I don't and that, understand. And, and that's meant for you. I don't yeah. understand. It makes. Why did he hit you up? If he's that's gonna do saying. that shit, I want to text him so bad. I want to text him so bad. Why the f- did you text me? Bro? Don't call him. He'll right love now that. No, he'll love it. With face <laughs> He'll hey, love hey, it. Bri, can we put him on the yeah. screen? <laughs> he'll love that. Don't do it. He no, would love it. No, don't. Don't even. So don't bother. Sick. It's not worth your breath. It's not worth your time. Uh, there's better ones out there. I hate men that like only are interested in you when you're disgusted by them. I do. Why? I, just, I should act more disgusted. No, don't no, even. It's should. not worth your breath. It's not. It's not you. worth your time. It's not. Why do we? Why do you think like human psychology works this way? Like why? Do I don't we, know. Personally, I don't like it. Unless your man is obsessed with me, I don't like it. That's, well, just, that's confidence. Like you want to be with someone that wants to be with you. Yeah. Like, but do you lose interest? Mm. to either of you when, when they show I'm a little manly you. when it comes to that I'm like yeah a little bit I like I'm like, like kind of do I feel I'm like kind of all like low a, key do is when they show interest yes and it's sad it depends I, if I like a guy enough now no yeah I like when they like me I don't know it just depends on the guy I think I can't I can't sit here and be like yes or no I can't it's such a it's like a it depends, it depends. per person but it's like I don't understand I, I wish he wasn't like that I, I wish I wasn't like that because if it was you know, it kind of was the it was the same situation. He was showing so much interest in me. I think if it was meant to be, it'll, it would be one thousand. So don't worry about it. Too one thousand percent. And I'm not tripping on just him. I think it's just like it's in so many in like in general of yeah. like it's this like ping pong battle of like who's not interested more. That's so stupid. I hate For that, me, though. I'm so honest and open. I'm like, hey, I like you. That's, that's how I am. People always too. ask me. They're like, how do you show a guy you're interested in them? I'm like, I tell them, yeah. and if they don't like me back, I give up. I'm super. I don't want to embarrass myself. Yeah, I'm super upfront about the trans stuff as well. Like it's in my bio and cool. my dating apps, and it's just like it, it's still so hard because the people and there's like like serial swipers and shit, people that swipe just because they don't they don't read anything about you, and then it's like people get mad at me on dating apps. They're like, "What the fuck are you on here?" You f-? and I'm just like, so it's literally stupid. in my bio. You chose to like me. No. I'm like, I'm on here. That Looking for the so same thing as everyone else. Treacherous. I think but, so, I think someone at Raya has something against me. Oh, are you not accepted? Really? Crazy. Do you have a, a recommendation or a referral? I have like 10. Do you Let want me 11? tell you. You're, <laughs> sure. you're well, not missing anything. Really? You're not. I, think I, just wanted to, I think I just wanted to do it to do it to see what all the hubbub is about. Yeah, that's why I went on it. But Yeah, but I've, I've been ex- Hey, if anyone from Raya wants to accept me on Raya. Yeah. Can I some- know the person that made it. I got you. I'll text him. Are you serious? He like assisted the person that made it. He got me on Raya. Yeah. I just don't understand why I'm not on Riot. We're gonna, we're, gonna make, we're gonna work this out for you. We're I gonna, just, I don't we're get gonna it. email some people and like we'll we'll I just want I truly just want to see what the I don't even know if I'm gonna use it. I just wanna see what it's all about. Yeah. yeah. You know, because everyone talks about it and like a lot of lore. I think dating apps just in general are I think they're great for like a situation like me where I can, you know, not have an uncomfortable conversation about the trans thing. Sure. Just have it up front and like, you know, if you read it, you like it, cool. Like me. If you don't, move along. Yeah. And that's like personally why I do it because when I meet guys in real life who like either don't know or just like don't care to, you know, I'm trying to figure out how to word this, but like um, I don't love having to introduce myself to someone, have them be interested in me. And then like later I bring in the conversation and then they're like, oh, you never know, what? actually, never mind. And I was like, oh. Well, obviously, I, I understand, obviously, like, I'm not sitting here being like, well, love me. You know, I, I understand that this is a very niche thing. But like, I think when you like someone for the way that they look and, and the, way the way that, they, that are. they act and the way who they are, it shouldn't and matter. Hair, mm-hmm. I'm I like, at this point, it's like, what it the shouldn't f- matter. It's, yeah. it's just bonkers. It's so bonkers. It's People bonkers. are insecure. They are. People are insecure. That's what I think. Yeah. And I mean, I, th- I also think it's society and politics and shit. For sure. It's totally. Family it plays such a huge part in this. We talk about this quite often, but every time yeah. I every time I think about it, I get going. <laughs> I, like, I gotta I speak on I it. I get on fire. It's your life. Yeah. It is my whole yeah. life. And I think that like that's fine. at the ripe age of 25 and... 22. Mo- not getting 22. <laughs> yeah. Um, at the ripe age of 22, 25, <laughs> I uh, just like kind of need that era for me. I think I'm so stable now in so many Good. different areas in my life that it's like, I feel like that's the one thing that I'm kind of missing. Um, 
So you're going to have a relationship, and it's going to happen when you don't Basics even accept that. monogamy is bad. Are you? That's okay. Yeah. We need to hear your off your chest. My off my chest is I found out this week what bop meant, and I found out I'm bop? a bop. What's bop? <laughs> A bop is basically the new way on TikTok for calling someone ran through or like a whore. <laughs> and someone was like, every comment is like, she's a bop. And I'm like, wait, what does it stand for? Wait, someone commented know. on my thing saying bop behavior. <laughs> and I was like, oh, bop. Like, she's like, oh, silly. I thought it was like, I thought, I thought it was talking like, about like a pop song. Me too. Like, I'm like, ah, I'm a bop. Who's like, calling you that? Man, I'm gonna freak out. I don't know. Of course. I think it's hilarious because it's not true. So I'm like, whatever, I don't care. Is bop. it like a, is it like a Riz thing I don't know. Where like no one really knows what it means. But Riz means charisma. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, I don't fucking what know did you you're think they're adding. I just thought it was a made up word by the fucking Gen Z. They make so many. You are Gen Z. You're 25. Of course. I know, but I'm, I don't claim the language. The fuck is Riz? It's short for charisma. charisma. Say charisma. Game. I don't understand. Why is there. You're so Z? funny. But why is there. <laughs> you're pissed. You're like, don't you darn kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I didn't pass <laughs> the fucking English kids. language GED the first fucking try for y'all to just start shortening shit. Hold up, I'm I'm mad about this bop situation. I think it's I think it's hilarious. I had to get it off my chest though because I was like, it is hilarious because you're like, oh, what? I love it. Call me a bop. I don't care. That's honestly a great hate comment. Me, I think so. I'm like, like, I'm like, okay. you think I'm pretty? No, because literally, something on Google says bop stands for balance of payment. Don't think it's that. No, 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 no. That I think it's a new it. thing. It's I don't even know if it's on Urban Dictionary yet. Damn. Bop. Yeah, We're apparently I'm a bop. That's, that's what I want to get off my video. chest. Tar yummy bop behavior. Bop behavior. Love it. Tar <laughs> yummy ran through. Bop behavior. We can behavior. reclaim the word. I don't give a f call me a bop. Okay, good. Uh, yeah. Call me a bop. I love that. I thought it was fun until I found <laughs> out what it was. No, period. I don't like that. I haven't gotten that one yet, but I just I wait. Will. I'll get. I have You'll get this, it after this episode. Not gonna. Trevi's a bop. Yeah. <laughs> Trevi's yeah. a bop. Okay, since yeah. everyone literally wants to date you, could we ask? Would you date a fan? Oh. Who wants to date me? Literally everyone. What? Including the bops. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to date someone who's not a fan. You know okay, what I mean? Period. Well, yeah, because everyone in their own way has to kind of be a fan. I need yeah. someone. Yeah, I would want whoever I dated to be like a Mad fan. Madly in love with yeah, who you are. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So course would I you answer like a DM from? A yeah. Fan? Okay. I would. Really? I love I'm not that. looking to date, but like, yeah, right. I would. Wow, that was a question. Like, who wants to date me? <laughs> So many. <laughs> Who's your celebrity crush? We're, we're, bring them in. No, yeah. Right. <laughs> we're like, we got a long line. <laughs> like, are we going to speed date? Yeah. Oh my, my celebrity God, crush? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Harry Styles. Really? Right. Mm -hmm. I, look, it's a good one. I'm going to, I might cut this out. I might get dragged for this, but I think he's so fucking talented. I think he's a think very that? attractive person. And I understand. I personally, I'm just not attracted to him. That's fine. I yeah. don't think that's offensive or anything. Honestly, live um, your truth. Yeah. I actually have a video of me talking about every single celebrity crush I have, and it's like a long video. So Ooh, what are I, others? Uh, Austin Butler, Joseph Quinn, um, Evan Peters. Just like, oh, yeah. It's like White Boy, City. I, White Boy City. White Boy City. White Boy City. Although I had a really big crush on Corbin Blue growing up. Corbin okay, Blue? Mm -hmm. I think he's Doesn't really he go to parties? What? Doesn't he? Oh, Ooh, I'm about to get my head in the game. No, no, I, <laughs> get your head no. in the game. You got to hey, get, get, get your head in the game. Okay, so like, what is the future of Tara Yummy? How do you want to expand your brand? Are you going to do fashion, beauty, beauty, makeup? Like, what do you? I. It's so hard to say because my goal for so long was to just do make this. more people laugh. Yeah. Um. So I'd hope that just collecting more little Pokemons and making more people laugh. Hopefully. Yeah. No, but I need to see like. Netflix special, Tari. Oh, I'd love to do that. Would you want to act? Um, I'd love to do reality TV. Uh, yeah. I would. I wouldn't pass up an offer to act. When yeah. I was younger, I wanted to act really bad. I did like a lot of auditions, but I think, and maybe I'm wrong, but I think I'm best at acting like me, and that's why my job yep. is my job. Mm -hmm. So I would love to do like a reality TV thing. That'd be that'd be something fun to do. Yeah. yeah. Wait, like, what's the dream reality show? Like about me. Like yeah. not like a Word. not like on like a reality show, not like a not like a bachelor or like a okay. you want circle. The reality I want like a reality show. I feel like that'd be really cool. Okay, well we need we just Wait, put out yeah. in the universe. We did. Yeah. What is your dream venue? To do stand up in? Yeah. Do you have one? Not really. I didn't mind doing like I did like the two hundred person rooms. Oh. I don't think I have a dream. I think it's just like whoever wants to come. Cute. I'd be grateful I even if five that. people showed up. Yeah. You know what? Same. But like at the end of the day for me, with like touring like my goal 
just in general. It's like a lot of people say like Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Or like so wait, what's yours? Hollywood, or not Palladium. Oh my God, Hollywood Bowl. Oh, that's a pretty one. Such, Ooh, it's just okay. like, I, I I always imagine like the Lana Del Rey. <gasps> Amazing. Oh, I have chills. Oh, Stop. Oh my God. Do you, you like Lana? I love Lana. Hey, yeah. you're Lana girl. Wait, yeah. who are your like top five favorite artists? Of all time? Or just of all time, not right now. Oh, I don't know. Okay, top three. Uh, that's even harder. Oh, shit, sorry. I don't know. Uh... I can't say top. I'm just going to name a couple people off the top of my head. I would say, like, I'm trying to think of, like, my top artists this year. It was, like, Harry Styles, Queen, mm. Miley Cyrus, Lady mm. Gaga. Yeah. Oh, okay. um, you're a Gaga girl. I forget. Scorpions, Motley Crue. It's very random. Britney Spears. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of, like, pop girls and a lot of rock bands, I feel like. Okay. That's, like, a good... You're, did you ever, like... You liked Avril? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I love yeah. Avril. So we asked Instagram to send us some questions for you. I'm and scared. We're gonna go. No, no, no. It'll be okay. No, it's cute. It'll be all right. So nice. I like this podcast because unlike the one I'm on, it's very like you're actually like asking questions and we're not just like joking. And I love joking around on my podcast. I love it so much. But I've noticed that in some podcast. Oh, I can't talk. I've noticed on some podcasts I go on, it's more serious and more like conversational. And I'm like, I feel like no one ever gets to like see me like be serious because I'm always just like, ha ha ha. No, we're, we get like incredible. We want to get to know you. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. Yeah, I'm like, people. Ooh. Like with when we like had Dana on last week, like I just, I've made plenty of content with her that I feel like people understand the lore of that. And like we kind of just giggled and gagged yeah. and did all that. But like. It was serious. It, it was like in a way, yeah. Yeah, well, so that's kind of cool. It's like you see a whole other side of a person. Yeah, right. Someone said, "Is it for real possible to have genuine friends in LA?" Yeah, I think people who say like LA people are fake. Uh, well, I think people are here. fake yeah, everywhere, not, and people yeah. are, they're not probably not from here. Yeah. Um, I think people are fake everywhere, and maybe you just got like the bad one in the bowl of nuts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're also probably looking in the wrong places. Yeah, like, I mean, here. I'm from here, so I I still have my friends from high school. Right. I yeah. hang out with my friends from high school all the time. Yeah. That's why I feel like I have so many friends because I, you know, I kept the ones that stayed. Right. I don't know. I think yeah. No, yeah. I think anyone could have genuine friends. I totally. think like if you go to like, can hide or war. Yeah, you're not you going to find your friends there. Your yeah. friends there. It's just like it's. Yeah. You have to like look in like wholesome places and like be a part of like right. there's so many different like clubs and communities and just like there's so many i've met the people that are from la that i've met or even just from southern california in general are some of the best people that i know mm -hmm. yeah I, and i love a boston bitch mm. don't give me a wrong. nice I, east coast girly yeah a nice east coast girly but you love a sober boston girl. san diego la mm -hmm. have you noticed like a lot of people trying to get in your circle now yeah and how do you um, are you just like, no? I'm just as like kind as I was it? before. Okay. I think I'm just more weary. Yeah. I don't think I should be rude or mean because someone wants to like use me. Right. I just think I should be more careful. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just, I try to be as kind as I was before and just. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. I try my best. You're doing great. So this is for all of us, I think. What do y'all think is the biggest misconception of being an influencer in LA? I don't know. I, I try not to use the word influencer because I'm like, I, I'm, I don't not, either. I'm not influencing shit. I tr truly just make YouTube videos to make people laugh. Yeah. I hope if I am influencing something, it's just like confidence or like being yourself. Um, but I don't like to use the word influencer. But if Fucking I were to it. like say something like that, I would say I think a misconception is probably that we're all just shitty. I, I think there are shitty yeah. people, but there I think some of us are nice. I, I like to hope I'm a good person um, and try my best because I haven't been an influencer or a YouTuber all my life. I've been a real human. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yeah, I would say that. I would say that we're not all bad. I think the biggest misconception is that followers equal money mm. Ooh, mm. that's a good one i know people with like a million followers that they can't pay are, the rent. They, they, they have to yeah. move back to where they're from because they yeah. can't afford rent and that makes me really sad and that's not me like dragging anyone because no, 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 no. i went bankrupt in my addiction and like yeah, no being po no it's like a huge but i think like, people think thing. a lot of influencers are, are really rich and I, they're not dollars they're not it doesn't they're not mm. There's certain people that like for some reason get a lot of money and I don't know how, but like right, I don't think right. all influencers are. There are like, some at influencers. All. I'm like, how are you working with Dior? Not Me for too. Real. <laughs> like, Me too. And I'm like, are you getting paid for that? That is just the one thing that I kind of had to like learn and go through. And so many people, uh, especially once I like first moved back, like over to New York City, like right after I got sober, like people that I first met even over there. They like saw my Instagram and they just they like, thought you were like thought I was like the richest person. I was like just picking myself back up again. And I was like, 
Oh no! Like I don't think you like. Under- I just yeah. went to fucking Canal Street and bought a fake YSL bag. Right. <laughs> like, it's not clockable. Don't get me wrong, but like, <laughs> not at um, all. I love how honest you are with that. No, yeah, no. I definitely. I think that was also just you know a gig and a gag. I had to go over to Canal Street, but it's uh, it's definitely quite interesting. Do That's you know- a great misconception. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that of- one. Do you have I one? Agree. Um, I don't think I'm an influencer. Like, <laughs> I don't okay, I really hate this fucking word. Nobody really yeah. knows who I am. So, I think a lot of people know who you are. Kate. I mean, We've been, this is our 12th episode. Okay, so we're literally famous. No, not kidding. <laughs> you're literally on billboards everywhere across the world, and Mars and Uranus, especially Uranus. No, I literally have always said that. But um, um, I I agree with you guys. I don't know. I'm like still kind of new to it. You're easing news. into it. Good influencer good luck, events speed. are great. <laughs> Godspeed, God soldier. <laughs> You, her, and Kate should discuss what each of you do to flirt, get a man interested, or did we already talk about that? I mean, she said that she. I'm just, just honest. Goes, like, yeah, I'm like you're really hot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do you like? Okay, so like for an opener, like, would you say like you just go up and say you're really hot, or like mm, for me, I, I would like, compliment them. Okay, that's what I'd say. Like, I compliment okay. like a shoe, or like a glasses, a hat, anything. Quite literally, yeah. they could yeah. be wearing a solid blue shirt. I'm like okay. that I like is a sick shade of blue, dude. Yeah. That is a. Yeah. Fun and six shade of blue. It kind of reminds me of the ocean. Trevi. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Trevi. I'm so avoidant. Like, I can't <laughs> even talk to a man. I can't really? Talk. The one time I went up to a man, he was stretching. I've talked, I've told this story before. He was stretching. He was about to go on a run. I go up to him and I was like, you going on a run? And he was like, yeah. And then he ran away. So, that's a rough one. Yeah. And I don't know. Rough. I thought like me being aggressive towards him would like turn him on. Mm. Mm-hmm. We're yeah. working through the kinks. We're getting there. We are getting that's there. That's okay. Yeah. How tall was he though? Oh, like five nine. Ooh, it's your sweet spot. Chef, yes. <laughs> a little bit <laughs> taller than it's a little taller than, than what you like. like. Can you shrink a little? <laughs> no, no, no. He was great. Um, he was great. He ran oh, away. Oh, hope he's doing <laughs> well. I think the reason why, why me and her are so incompatible as friends because we have. Opposite opposite types. Types. never fight over a man mm. we would never <laughs> ever man fight I've, over a man every man i show trevi she's like i love that for you that's hilarious <laughs> every man I show. wait trevi i really want you to date one of my cousins or something you should. like a family are they tall? yeah are they financially stable yeah are they emotionally stable i think so i'm not thinking of a specific person but i'm like i feel like i have a lot of really hot like persian middle eastern friends wait. i'm not kidding because i'm middle eastern I, so i love that and i and i, and I need that yeah, I, need I really you want you to like date someone like that. I know, you know what it's I mean. It's just I don't know, I because I I have you know talked to and been with them, and they're like so far. Like it's not even. It's just like the like they're just so kind. Mm-hmm. I um, agree. Like my dad's really kind and so very that's hygienic. Like. Yes, mm. I've noticed yes. that too. So I think like there's like especially Persian people are so so good with that compared to a fucking yeah. white guy. Mm-hmm. I don't. It's like my parents like to this day like we take our shoes off when we come in the house because of like Persian right. rugs. So like even that. Like right. always clean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Balls are always washed. Balls are always washed. Yeah. Oh, That's hilarious. The dream. I don't know. I think when yeah. So I besides a compliment, um, I've I've just raw dogged before and go and gone like hi. I'm really? Nice You're you. she's so good at it. I'm That's not so great. That I good. can't do that. I don't think I'd be like hi. I'm Tara. Maybe I can actually. You I'm could. lying. Good. I'm lying. I definitely yeah. have. I definitely have. Yeah. Maybe like with one. Are we going to Barney's after this? We're gonna <laughs> do it. Should we? What day is it? Monday. We could. We could. I'm down. I'm down. You're so. Are you out? You're out. I'm dressed like a slutty pirate. <laughs> Who cares? Let's go out. I'm, uh, I'm going to Doctor Gabe tomorrow. Is Doctor Gabe the tooth doctor? A dentist? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> tooth doctor. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting a whitening. You know. I okay. feel like I should. I want to start going to Doctor Gabe. I'm like, I want to be a celebrity. You want to go to Doctor Gabe? <laughs> I think Doctor Gabe would hate me because I'm really scared of the dentist. No, if you ever want, if you ever have like an emergency, he's so patient and nice. I mean, he works with fucking influencers in LA they for suck, a living, yeah. you know? Yeah. I'm like, I'm if sure. you could do it, anyone can, yeah. or if, if anyone can do it, he can do yeah. it. Yeah. Thoughts and feelings on being the it girl, I aspire to be like her, dot, dot, dot. <sighs> I would love if someone's like I that. feel like you're the it girl right You now. are the it girl. And I, you don't Stop. have to admit it. You don't have to admit that, it. That, no, I don't believe that. Like, my friends will say to me, I'm like, I don't believe you. Like, I, I don't, I have like imposter syndrome. I don't feel like that at all. I feel like, I, I cause I've. Well, you've always been the same. I've been doing yeah. the same thing I've been yeah. doing. So the fact that now it's blowing up and Honestly, to bring my ex up again, like he said it best. He always, I was always like, I don't want to change anything I do because I love what I do, but I want to like, I want more eyes on me. Like, I don't understand. Like, how do people just blow up? Like, I try so hard. Mm-hmm. I work so hard. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, you're a star. He said this like verbatim and it's, it replays in my head all the time. He said this in a relationship. He says it now. He's like, you're a star. Just enough people need to see you. Yeah. And Aww. like when it just happened, he was like, look, people yeah. saw you. Like, see? And it I made me want to like that. cry. Yeah. But it's a special thing. I don't know what to think of it. I'm so grateful that people like me and I. You know, and 
I don't want to mess it up. Like I, I don't, I'm scared and happy and I just hope that people like to watch me for me and not some like some like idea of me. I don't know. It's scary. Yeah, no. It's so well, scary. I think that like yeah. the way that you put yourself out there and collab with so many creators and like not only doing it on TikTok, but also showing it on your YouTube channel and being consistent with your, your YouTube. It's like you are all these new people. You're giving them an outlet to see who you are and you know thanks it seems like they're staying so. oh my god it girl's so cool it girl is i feel so cool, cool. cool. We get like i think a, everyone's a nick girl i think everyone well, is a nick girl in their own way so like, you're having your moment it's okay to like thanks. appreciate that yeah i'm gonna start crying right now run over to fucking tara yummy's youtube channel and subscribe to her to be for her to be even more yes. of the it girl stop come one come one tara not tara <laughs> I, I does think, everyone call you tara yeah it drives me insane tara like tar mm-hmm like black yeah. tar heroin. Please oh. cut that out. Oh my God. Okay, so we're going to close our podcast episode off with some gratitude um, and say what one thing or a few things that we're grateful for. Um, I'm going to do what I always do and <laughs> pass it on to Kate because I really have to think about what the f I'm grateful for this week because it was a rough week. Not kidding. Uh, no, literally. Um, okay. Grateful for... And we're going to do it again. I say you every week. <laughs> well, I just want to say, I know I say you every week, but I'm grateful that I can be so myself around you and you see like the nastiest parts of me and you still love me and accept me. Aww. I'm so grateful that you came on. Oh, thank you're you. You're exactly like, you're even like, you're just like exactly how I thought you were going to be. Oh, I mean, you're so just nice. like very real and sweet. Thank and you. And I really appreciate you coming. Um, And I'm grateful that I have the ability today to look at my patterns and relationships and I can work on them today. So I'm going to examine that. Work. And we're going to, you know, get in that therapy lab. We're going <laughs> to figure it out. Damn right. <laughs> so that's my groititude. I love that. I, um, I'm i also grateful, so grateful that you came on today. Of course. I know that you didn't have like, to ask me twice. No, okay. So I, I just, I know that you're running around right now. So this means so much to us. I'm also so grateful <laughs> for you, bitch. Even though, you know, my manic little queen. I love <laughs> you and your close that's friend it. story. Not kidding. <laughs> Go to our Patreon, subscribe to our close friends. No. <laughs> Imagine. Not kidding. Five bucks to watch you. Not kidding. Not kidding. Everyone go. Pay for the most exclusive tier to go see yeah. Kate Spiral. And be no. disturbed. <laughs> I think I'm really grateful that I I just, I feel hot lately. Oh, mm. cool. That's I a think, great one. Yeah. I think like, especially right now, like I'm just, I'm so infuriated I don't, I don't want to make, I'm not a man hater at all, but I'm so infuriated by a lot of men's behavior mm. towards me mm. that mm -hmm. instead of me letting it ruin me as it has in the past, I am like already booking sessions with producers and writers and like resuming the production on my album and like, it, like taking what I've experienced. And obviously I've, there's things that I've dealt with in private too, but like there's, an outlet that I have, which is like music and talking about it on my podcast and like positive ways that I can, you know, help other people. Um, I think transforming pain into art and transforming pain into um, power is like such a cool thing. Cause I've just, I, like I said, I've let it completely ruin me or take over me before. And I'm just like, I, I'm like, you know what? Fuck them. I'm going to show them who the hottest in the world is. Hell yeah. Yeah, and that's I'm gonna you. Be the hottest in the world, and like I don't care. You are the hottest in the world. Thank yes. you. So are you, and so are you. Oh my god. I um, yeah. So I just I'm I'm grateful. I'm feeling secure today. Cool. I think that that's, that's amazing. Like the overall thing. I don't think I have anything else. I think I'm grateful for everything that's going on. Yeah. Hard work paying off? Question mark. One thousand percent. Um, I'm grateful for mark. the relationships around me and the people who are so real and can share this experience with me and have been supporting me the whole way. Um, I'm grateful for my day off today. I didn't do anything and it felt really good. Hello. Hello. Well, no, this is something I wanted to do. This isn't okay, like, good. you know, like this. It's also nighttime. And yeah, we're going to have fun. It is. So. Thank you for coming at night. We just have to Thank shoot you. at night because yeah. we just... feel our juiciest. Oh, okay. Yes. I get that. We are personalities vibe better. At night. Whenever you want. <laughs> I'm really easy going, actually. People, I, I, like, I kind of give off diva vibes. Eh, it depends like, I don't what think I'm doing. I give them off at all. I think I'm a little bit of a diva. I a little bit. But oh, really? it's like, like when it comes to like my friends and like stuff, I'm like, I don't care. Whatever you want. I'm yeah, a little bit of a diva, but it's just because I know what I like I to do. I think a touch of diva makes yeah. the world go round. I drive a pink car. Around. like Love it. Right. I'm a no, little bit of a diva. Up in the pink car came out in the all leather. I was like, <laughs> I was like, very I opposite. Here's your yeah. wigs today, not kidding. I'm grateful you guys had me on. This was fun. Yeah, it oh, was great. Thank you. It was
fuck we did it info. all right guys thank you so much for watching make sure you go over to tariyami's channel and subscribe and make sure you comment love ya all right love you guys Mwah!